So for those who are coming in uh, for the first time, maybe we'll, we'll just read out a few uh, skipping uh, rules. Uh, one, I think I've talked about the self-introduction. Self Two, it's, uh, it's good to inform you that uh, the call will be recorded uh, just for, again, for the documentation and again for you. If you want to revisit these sessions later, you just need to go to our YouTube channel. You get all these recordings and you can play them at your own time. Uh, so then you are able to catch up. Uh, again, if you have a question during the training, please you can raise up your hand to interrupt uh, the facilitator, so then we can listen to your question and uh, be able to give you an answer. Otherwise, you can also text your question in the chat area. Uh, our team will be able to, um, to respond to you in real time. Okay, so today being the last day, we are going to have a, a, a post test. So we are going to have a post training test, which I want to share just right away. So then uh, even as we train, you can start uh, answering those questions. They are very simple. You just need to uh, get the correct answer and then uh, submit. So I'll share that in a minute, just uh, within the chats. Let me just do that right away. So I've just shared the link. Uh, you can look at it and maybe start responding to those just to gauge how much you've been able to learn for the last two to three days. Uh, then uh, you submit uh, your responses. So um, a brief recap, but before that, I want to share the URL again for those who may be joining for the first time. I'll just share my screen so then um, Where is the screen? Kindly confirm if you are able to see the screen. Yes, we can. Okay, yes, so that is can. the that is the URL to the server instance that we are going to use during the training. So you could log in with the username and the password provided. So then, uh, as we take you through you are also able to follow on your own. I uh, think you learn better that way. So let me know if you are done uh, looking at that before we continue. So as you log in, uh, maybe a little recap for those who are here yesterday. Um, so yesterday we looked at um, EHTS. One minute. Okay, so yesterday we were able to look at uh, three key areas on Kenya EMR. We were able to look at the HTS, how to do the HTS using EMR. Uh, we were able to look at the prep module. We also took guys through the OVC and uh, the OTZ module and the associated reports that uh, are available for those. So <clears throat> if you didn't join yesterday or if you missed something, please feel free to go to the YouTube channel, look for Kenya HMS, Kenya HMS channel and uh, you'll find all the recordings there. You can play them back at your own time just to catch up with the rest. So I think we are pretty late. Um, today we are going to um, take you through the MCH. So this includes the MCH uh, child services and the MCH mother services and all the forms and all the encounter forms that are associated with, uh, uh, with that. So uh, for now, I think we'll just have to uh, go to the next level, get the next presenter so then we can start. Um, so once we are done with maybe child services, we'll be able to give you maybe a two minutes or three minutes to ask 
questions before we move to the next uh, service. So I don't know if um, Kezia is on the call. He's going to be our facilitator for the afternoon. We are going to have Kezia and Moriri uh, to facilitate the afternoon session. Hi, Otieno, I'm here. And um, we plan to start from the MCH mother and then uh, later go to MCH dad. So kindly confirm you can hear me. Hello. If you move closer to the mic, maybe we'll, we'll be more clearer. Okay. Yeah, am I better now? Yes, we are getting you. All right. H mother service. We will look at ANC. Uh, then we move with the same mother to maternity and see how we record the delivery. And then after delivery, we will see the postnatal. Uh, then maybe at that point, we will take a break before we proceed to the MC child. So if you allow me, um, I have already registered a client. I believe that at this point, we all know how to register a client in the Kenya EMR module. So I have a client called Training Test Mother. Uh, if you check this point, uh, we already have the patient uh, information there. And now the next thing that uh, we will do is enroll the client under MCH Mother Services. So like we said, uh, there are different services in the system and you enroll your client based on the services they are coming to access on that day. So our client, uh, this module can be used for all clients regardless of their HIV status. So a client can come in directly to ANC. So you will just register them and then enroll them in MCH Mother Services here. So to enroll them, click on the enroll button here uh, to access the enrollment form. And like, uh, like we have seen previously, the system automatically picks today as the enrollment date. So for retrospective data entry, you have to change this date to the date when the client was enrolled. Um, allow me to use a backdated date to allow capturing of all the that I've mentioned. So I will assume that this client uh, came in the first time uh, last year, November, let's say 15th. Uh, we have the maternal and natural profile and under the service type, we have three uh, sections, we have three options. Either the client is coming at ANC, we can have three scenarios, client coming uh, for the first time for, to access ANC services. So for that client, we will select ANC and uh, all that is required at ANC will be highlighted and you will get even the mandatory fields at ANC. If the client comes directly to maternity and they never came in the facility for ANC, then you select delivery and you find that all the mandatory fields that are required in uh, ANC are now not uh, mandatory. Therefore, you can just skip the ANC details and proceed to enter delivery only. Uh, same case for a client who is coming in at postnatal. They never attended ANC in this facility and also they didn't deliver here. But now they are coming for postnatal. Again, you just select PNC and proceed in uh, offering postnatal services. So the system allows you to capture the client at any point when they come in the facility. Uh, for our workflow, I will use, um, we will start from ANC. So I will select that. Then moving to ANC number, uh, we have the uh, just a guide that the number should be four series and two for the, for the year. And uh, I will use what I had used previously in clinic number. That should be my yes, number parity. Let's assume uh, it's a para one, uh, gravida zero. Uh, the gravida is now uh, auto calculated from what you're feeling in the parity section. Uh, at Menak, assume it's uh, 12. 
LMP, it could be either the client um, knows their egg exact the last menstrual period, but if it is estimated, you select there and then kin the date when they receive their previous uh, menses. So let's use um, uh, August 15th and it is estimated. HIV status before first day and see visit. This is the status of the client as at 10 before you administer the first test at TNC. So the status, they know their status, is it positive, negative, or unknown? So for our client, uh, we may use a negative for that. And then um, there is uh, the, the, the partner HIV status and uh, either positive, negative, or unknown. So we can use that. Uh, then we have the other details on the left. We have the, on the right, we have EDD ultrasound, if it has been done, uh, you capture that here, you enter the date. If it is not available, remember we, at this point, we are enrolling the client. So if it is not there, then this is not a mandatory field and you can just keep that. Uh, on TB screening results, you can um, uh, uh, screen the client at this point and uh, select one option from the drop down based on the findings. Uh, date of first day and see visit, if it is today, then you just select this. This, uh, this will be automatically picked from the date you used as the enrollment date here. So you just select today. If not, you just uh, select the date, the actual date of first day and visit. Uh, for HIV test date, this only will be available if the client no has a status. If it was unknown, then we wouldn't have the date when they were tested. Uh, but since we said the client reported that they are negative at entry, then uh, the HIV test date is required. So uh, ask the client when they were last tested and uh, key in that date here. Moving on to the laboratory investigation section. Uh, again, at this point, you may not be having all these results. And uh, since we are just enrolling, you can skip all these and do them in the next visit as they are the tests are conducted. So at um, this point, I will skip this and we will fill it in the ANC form as we proceed. So uh, having confirmed that you have captured all the details on uh, that are required on this enrollment form, then you go ahead and enter the form. Yeah, there we have it. Now our client is already enrolled in MCH Mother Services and now you can proceed and you can access all the other forms under the clinician app. To access the form, you will, you will be required to check in the client for visit. Um, so just click on the check in button. Again, since this is not, uh, the client is not here today, we are doing a back entry. So we will uh, go back to when the client came in for the first visit. And that was uh, 15th of November and submit that. Yeah, so here we have all these forms, uh, but uh, to access the, the MCH forms, go back home and then access the clinician app. I hope we are together up to that point. If I'm too fast, just let me know. Uh, so here, under available visit forms, we have the MCH antenatal visit form and the others. And uh, since uh, we are interested with the AMS MCH antenatal visit. Allow me to just continue with this. Uh, click on the MCH antenatal visit to fill in the today's recordings for the plant or the services offered. So the date is automatically picked from the check-in date that we used. And then on the visit details, you are required to record if this is a first visit a second visit, a third, or whichever number. So this is our first, so I will just record there one. The ANC number is picked again from the enrollment uh, form, so you don't need to redo that. Uh, on the vitals, uh, record all that has been done for the client. Uh, some of these are repetitive, so I will just uh, rush through them. And remember, if the, this was done on charge, then this client, these details will already pre-populate here. 
but where they are not done, you just fill in at this point. Fill all that is available for that plan. Other observations, we have breast examination done. Uh, so select from drop down if it was done or not. Uh, on PALA, uh, select if yes, no, or not applicable. If it was it, uh, present, select yes. Suppose it wasn't there, then it's wrong. On maturity, record the number of weeks, uh, maturity in weeks. Uh, Fundal height, the same. On presentation, we have options on the drone. It's either it's a frank bridge or a vertex presentation. So select the one that applies. Uh, on uh, lie, uh, use the drop down. Uh, sorry, on the fit heart rate, record there. Uh, on the lie, either longitudinal or oblique transverse, select the one that applies for the client. On fit or movement, select either decreased fit or movement, fit or movement present, increased fit or movement or no fit or movement. Depending on the findings that the nurse will record, uh, select the one that applies. Uh, moving on to the laboratory, laboratory investigation, uh, starting with HIV testing. Here you will um, start with the kit name. Uh, you can select either determine first response, response or the duo kit. Excuse uh, me, Asia. Yes. Yeah, uh, Zipporah has her hands up. I don't know if she wants some clarity. Okay. Zipporah, proceed. Zipporah. You may want to unmute. Uh, let's hear from Dennis. Yes, please. The speed is very high. Okay, that is noted. Okay. Uh, well, at what point did you lose me? Starting from the first. Yes. We never we never show how you came up to the ANC after how registering to, the client. Okay, maybe we can discard this form at this point, and uh, we go back to where we came. Yes. Uh, always when you lose your way, go back home. So after registering our client, this is the patient homepage. And I mentioned that after you have successfully enrolled your client under MCH Mother Services, then all those will be available on the left. And if you need to edit, we have the unedit button here. From this point, I mentioned that to access the MCH, you will need to go back home and then click on the clinician app. And this is where we found our forms, our MCH. We will find all the forms related to the client under the available visit forms. Are we together up to that point? Hello? Yeah. Yes, Can we proceed yes, now? Okay. Yes. yes. Sorry for that. But uh, in the time I am very I'm fast, just let me know. Uh, so, uh, when you click on the MCH antenatal visit form, this is what you get uh, for recording every visit, antenatal visit. And I said that date will be out captured from the check in date that you used, so there is no need, uh, you are not required to enter to change anything on the date. Under the visit details, we say that we have an ANC visit number. This will depend on the visit number, the number of visits client is asked in the facility. If it's the first time, it will be one. If it is a visit, then you will either record a second, a third, or a fourth. But for our client, this is the first visit, so we just uh, indicate uh, first. On the ANC clinic number, I mentioned it is auto-captured from 
the enrollment form so you don't need to type in again. Under the vitals, I mentioned that this if it's done from the triage form, it will be auto-populated here. But for us, we didn't fill in. We just came in direct to the MCH form. So we fill in at this point. Fill in that is all that is available. I'll just pick um, the main ones. And then under other observations, we have the breast examination. Uh, using the drop down, select yes or no. Uh, Pala, either yes, no, not applicable. Maturity in weeks, you just record the number of weeks. Same case for fundal heights in, uh, in weeks. Presentation, again, either frank or vertex, select the one that applies. Uh, lie, either longitudinal, oblique, or transverse, select the one that applies from the drop down. Feet or movement, again, select the one that applies from the drop down, either decreased feet or movement present increased or no fit like the one that applies uh we were at this point uh laboratory investigations and we i said we have a uh, kit names depending on the ones that are being used at the facility select the one that applies if it is duo kit select that if it is determined select that uh, for first first uh, test i do not expect anyone to use first response uh, picking on the determine, next you are supposed to key in the lot number. So uh, I'll just put any number there. Then uh, expiry date of the kit, just uh, select, pick the date from the calendar. HIV test result one. If the client is negative, then that ends there and you have the final results as negative. Uh, but if the if the client is sorry okay if uh, if the test is negative then the final results will be negative if our client uh, turns positive select positive for first kit then you get the next uh the, the kit to the test the second test to confirm the positivity of the client. So on, kit, on test two, then we only have first response, uh, then indicate the lot number again for the first response uh, kit, expiry date, indicate that, and then the, the test result for test two. If it is negative, Test two, we will have final results as inconclusive. If we have um, either not applicable, again, we will have in, inconclusive results. Same case, if you have any varying results from uh, the first one, then we will have inconclusive. But if the tests are the same, then the final results, we have it as positive. Uh, results given to the client, it's either yes or no. Um, then we have the HIV status recorded recently. This is what we captured at enrollment as the status, HIV status at enrollment. So that one again is pre-populated here for you. Partner test, again, if you recorded it during enrollment, it will pre-populate here. So if there are any changes, you can update. If there are, there are none, just leave it as it is, because you can see it captures even the date when it was filled. Uh, on the urine, uh, on the partner status, we have already said that it's either yes or no. If yes, then you're supposed to fill in the date it was done. Then the result, that is, if it is no, again, that one is inactive. For urine analysis, urine microscopy, you will type in the results there. Uh, for urinary albumin, uh, you have a drop down with all the options for the results. Select the one that applies for the results. Glucose measurements, again, a drop down. Select from here if there are trace, no more, or any result that you get for the client. On urine pH, you're supposed to type in there is a text field there. On urine specific gravity, again, we have a text field there. Urine nitrate test, we have a 
drop down, select the one that applies. On urine uh, dipstick for blood, again, we have a drop down. You just select the one that applies. Uh, urine leukocyte esterase test, again, we have a drop down. Select the one that applies for the client. Urinary ketone, we have a drop down. Urine bile salt test, we have a drop down. Urine bile pigment test, again, select the one uh, that applies. Urine color, either brown, colorless, dark, whichever applies for the client based on the results. Uh, urine turbidity, again, pick the one that applies. Uh, then down here, we have other tests. Uh, syphilis serology. We have a drop down. It's either negative, positive, requested, not tested, or poor sample quality. Uh, let's assume that our client tested negative for syphilis. Then all the other details will be hidden. So if we had a positive, then you will have you'll be required uh, to enter to report if the client been, has been treated for syphilis, and you say either yes or no depending on the details of the client. Uh, on BS for MPS, again, it's either indeterminate, negative, or positive. Uh, then we have a text box for hemoglobin. Here you just record the results. Uh, then next we have the client monitoring. Uh, has the client undergone antinatural exercises? It's either we have a yes, if they have undergone or no, they didn't undergo any antenatal exercises, so select the one that applies. On TB screening, again, we had recorded this under MC, uh, MCH enrollment form, so again, it auto populates. So maybe the nurse at the MCH will find, will rescreen the plant so they can fill in again at this point, but if it is the same, they can opt out. Uh, has the client been screened for cancer of cervix? It's either it's normal. If it is normal, then you are required to select the method that was used. Is it pap smear, is it via, vili, or other? If, if it was not done, then you won't find the method uh, for that client. So assuming our client was, uh, test was screened, and maybe if VIA was used. Other auditions, does the client have other illnesses? Record uh, as it applies for the client. So if it is IS, then you will be required to record the illness. We have a drop down. you just select the one that applies. Uh, you will record the onset date. You will record the drugs that were given, the doses, the units, the frequency, the duration, and the duration unit. But if the client no other illnesses, just select no, and uh, you proceed. On client education, uh, we are checking if the client received ANC counseling. So it's either yes or no. For a yes uh, response, then you are required again to select subjects that have been uh, offered to the client. It's either bad plan. You can select all that apply. It's a multi-select. So maybe they were they were cancelled on bad plan, on HIV, on uh, breast care, on supplemental feeding, and the like. So select all that applies for that visit. For referrals, if the client is being uh, uh, is coming in as a referral, indicate where they are referred from, either another health facility or a community. But if they were they are not uh, transferring, just indicate not applicable. Referred to again, select the one that applies. If they are not being referred, yeah, yeah. then we select not applicable. Uh, then we are supposed to give uh, the client a next appointment for NC. Uh, since our client came on uh, 15th April, we can ask uh, on 15th of November, we can give them another TCA on uh, 15th. Uh, or 16th of December, and uh, the system will highlight for you or will uh, just alert the clinician on how many clients have been booked on that date. 
just to help them in managing their appointments. If there are any clinical notes for that visit, then you just type in here. Yeah, so it's a free text. You can uh, just type everything that, about the client here. Once you are done updating the ANS antenatal visit form, confirm that all the mandatory fields are, uh, are okay and the deals captured are correct. Then you select enter form to save it. Any questions up to that point? That is the first ANC visit. Do we have any questions? Okay, now, uh, if you allow me, I will proceed. There are other services that are offered during the ANC. Uh, so we have on the left, under NCH mother services here, we have, a, we have a tab called preventive services. Click on that, record any other preventive services that were given. Uh, remember to key in the date when this was done, the first time it was filled. So we are on 15th November, 2019. And suppose our client was uh, given a tetanus toxoid on this day and the sequence number is one, the date when it was given, if, if, if not today, just select, if there are any comment about it, and then assign the next appointment for the next dose. But the client will be coming on 16th, so we still assign the same date as a next appointment for the next dose. So you can record the others. The, if the malaria prophylaxis was given, if iron was defensed, uh, maybe that's all. Select all that has been dispensed on that day. And even on the consecutive days, you'll be using these forms to record any preventive services that are offered on that clinic day. Uh, once you're done updating everything, enter the form. So this form will be reused for all the other consecutive forms. Uh, we also have another form here called obstetric history. Click on it. This is for capturing uh, the previous pregnancies, for recording all the details about that. Uh, like our client had a previous birth, so pregnancy order. If it was first client, first baby, just uh, indicate one there. Then the year, so assuming this baby was born um, 2018 October, number of times ANC attended for the previous pregnancies. So if they attended two, if they attended four, record that. Place of delivery, if you're at the hospital, record that. Maturity in weeks, at what point will they deliver? Duration of labor, uh, indicate that in hours of delivery was it as yes bridge uh no more select the one that applies birth weight of the baby uh suppose it was a uh, sex of the baby baby male outcome was it a live birth still by the bush or miscarriage indicate that uh events during the period you can uh, indicate all that applies. If none, just select that, but we have all these other categories. Okay, that is it about the obstetric history. Again, this will be reused over all, uh, even in the consecutive uh, pregnancies. And then after that, you just click on enter form to save it. Uh, we have an error. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let 
the pool. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure why we are getting that error. Nothing has been uh, highlighted. Okay, okay. Nothing has been highlighted as having an issue. So maybe we can check at that later to check why it's not saving. Yeah, if you allow me, maybe someone can be checking for me why that form is not saving as we said, but that's required. You just fill in the details and save the form. Okay, having filled all those forms, I believe that is all for the first visit. But remember, our client tested positive. So as they, we offer them the MCH, the antenatal services, they will also be required to receive the HIV care and treatment services. So just briefly, we already had seen how to, re to register this client um, uh, under HIV program, but we can um, quickly fill in this form so that we can be offering both services for antenatal and uh, antenatal and care and treatment together. I'm just doing it quickly because this we had already done this on the first day. So this is just to ensure that the client is captured on all the modules. Okay, yeah. So now you, uh, you find that the client is both in MCH and HIV care. So the client can be recorded to as many services as possible. Going back to the clinician, sorry. We need, uh, we need, we need, we need to obtain the details on her heart. yeah now this was this wasn't our clan sorry so our client is called training test training test mother yeah here is our client yeah going back to clinician uh so we we can uh, we can proceed to the next visit and then we will uh, fill in both the green card and the antenatal visit form so let's check in this plan uh again for the next visit remember we they were to come back on uh, 16th december for their next visit And now we will fill in both the MCH antenatal visit and the HIV green card because the client is accessing both services. So first thing we need to do, we start our client on ERT. Uh, start it. Uh, let's assume the first day they came, that's when they were initiated on ERT. Select the regimen they were put on assuming it was that and then save that this had already been uh, we had already been taken through that that's why i'm a bit fast on that uh, so this being our second visit you'll just select the mph and natural visit again and then the same form that we filled on the initial visit will appear Already we have details of the first visit, that first visit was done 15th November. So this is our second visit, indicates that the number is also related, like we saw in the previous form. Uh, same details, suppose our client has added uh, more cages from the last visit, indicates all the services that have been given. This form is just like what we filled in the first visit. Uh, so we are still just uh, reviewing this for the follow-up visit. So 
fill everything. Uh, under HIV testing now, since we had already done it on first visit, we already have the details captured and we do not need to redo the testing again. These details will keep on being uh, pre-populated in, in all the other forms. We can see the final result was, done, was positive and it was done on 15th November. And now since we have already initiated the client on ERT, we have the regimen already pre-populated for us. So those details will not be re-entered again. Previous tests that done, again, will populate under your analysis section. If there are any that are repeated on this visit, that is when you will come and key in the details like we did with the first form. If nothing has changed from previous or not, no uh, test was repeated today, then you will just leave this uh, section as it is. Uh, client monitoring. Uh, has the client undergone antenatal exercises again, like we saw, either select yes or no. TB screening for today, uh, select the one that applies. Has the client been screened for cancer cervix of cervix? Uh, mm -hmm. If it is normal, then indicate the method that was used. If not, indicate uh, WHO staging. Uh, remember, we have filled in the enrollment form uh, to HIV and we selected the, selected the stage, uh, the WHO stage, so it's being outpopulated from there. Uh, so you can uh, screen again for today and record the WHO staging. Uh, HIV viral load sample taken, record if yes, if no, record that. Uh, if we have any results and they are entered, remember we use the lab order form to capture all the labs. So once you have ordered and you have entered results, they will all pre-populate in this section and will indicate when last they were done. Uh, but for our client, we haven't done that. That is why this section is blank. Uh, on ART and prophylaxis, uh, mother prophylaxis given during this visit, record if they are using CTX, record that. If it is DAPON, record that. If none, record that. So, assuming our client is using CTX, uh, is that if for the baby dispensed, record if they are, that has been dispensed to the mother on this visit. Uh, baby dispensed, again, record if they have been given this visit. Uh, remembering uh, the guideline on uh, how they are dispensed and when, uh, the same should apply here. On the other condition, like we saw in the previous uh, visit, you will record all that applies. If yes, then you have that uh, section to fill in everything. And education, again, if uh, further ENC counseling have been done today, come here and select all that applies. On referrals, if there are any, fill in. You can leave in blank if not, uh, there are no referrals to be reported, not mandatory field. And then uh, you give the next appointment when the client should come back to the facility. So this was a DEC uh, visit. So we can say now the client is supposed to come next on 15th January 2020 and again, you are alerted on how many clients have booked on uh, that day. So that's it again for the ANC revisit. This is the second visit and that is all you need to capture. Having confirmed that, just enter the form to save it. Uh, the next thing will be give this client to offer care and treatment services. Remember this is being done all in, we are we are hoping that our MCH are a one-stop shop where the, the nurse at MCH will be able to offer all these services under one. So they do not have to move. You just click on the green card and proceed. So again, I'll be very quick because uh, we already did this. You will note that most of the details that have been filled on in MCH INC form are pre-populated here again, and you are not required to re-enter them. Okay, 
screening of the client, isoniazid, screen uh, follow up, uh, select all that applies. If you, if you will initiate the client, you just initiate them on IPT using this button. We already saw how, to, how we are supposed to use that button to register that. And then, sorry, uh, I'll say uh, none, no more. And then we move to next. Prophylaxis used. Uh, we said cotrimoxazole dispensed. And then we have the adherence assessment. We need to record uh, the adherence assessment for the client and then click on save, it automatically gives you the score for that. On PHDP, record all that was done for this visit. Uh, yes. For the stability assessment section, we saw that that is populated from the previously entered information. And return visit, uh, it's advisable to give same date as A and C, so to reduce the number of times the client comes to the facility. And uh, now at this point, again, the, the system will tell you how many people have been booked on that day to help you manage the appointments. And having finished filling the green card, you just submit. Oh. You need to, to record if the client is stable or not and select the differentiated care model that they are on. Yeah, so that brings us to the end of uh, ANC. We have seen our first visit and what to fill in that visit. We have seen a revisit and uh, how to even offer both antenatal and the care and treatment services at one point. So if there is, uh, unless there is anyone with a question, I would like to proceed to the next service that is uh, delivery. I want us to move now from the mother, uh, from the ANC section to delivery. Any question? Yes, there is a question, Kezia from uh, Jared. Okay. Yes. Uh, my question is. Yes. When uh, when you are using NC uh, MCHNC visits. Yes. Where we were supposed to state whether the partner has been tested or not. Yes. There's a challenge in that part because. Uh, Every time when you get a transferring client yes. for PM, mm -hmm. there's normally no any other written document for the testing of the partner. And yet the the client provides the that the husband has been tested and there's no date and the system requires that when you put in that there's a, a test done, the date will be required, which will be not be exact date as required by the system or as required by the time the client was tested. So this part normally goes and, uh, and, uh, and filled. When we run our RDQA in the EMR system, we normally get this as missing dates the partner was tested or partner are not being tested. Almost all the system for EMR they are not being, the, there has been a problem for these partner testing dates. When you run RDQA, there's no I, any other, I, we can say that the client was tested. So I don't know how to put it because every now and then, even right now you run any RDQA in your MR system, you will get missing dates, the partner was tested. Yet, maybe the client was tested back before. Mm -hmm. 
Arkadaşlar. Gezia we lost you. I think I'm done, but uh, if at all you want to come up again. No, I'm, I'm saying we have lost because yeah, I think maybe our network or something. Oh, now you can get me. Yes. Oh, I'm saying in MCHNC visits, where we want to state whether the partner has been tested for HIV or not. Here, for a case of transfer in, a client may come in your facility and yet you don't know the status of, of the partner. So if we get to this partner HIV test, whether it was done negative, positive or unknown, we can provide the exact date when the client was tested. And yet, if we run RDQA in EMR system, we normally get partner HIV test dates are missing or results are missing throughout. And yet, the booklet sometimes may contain a date, or the client may just provide uh, with the just month to month with the undocumented dates of test. Uh, maybe if I if, if I may try to address that, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, sorry, I had dropped off. Uh, uh, I the, you remember that uh, the source the source of this information is from paper records. So if the partner was tested, you would have the date. If the the partner the test was administered at this facility then the dates will be available and uh, in that you will be able to capture the details as they are in the EMR. But uh, if case, you're relying, yes? For my case, uh, my scenario is transfer in. Transfer in. Yeah. And the client and the and the client does it the, like uh, the mother or the wife doesn't know when the test was done. Yes. Maybe they uh, just provide that, uh, undocumented. Yes. So in that case, what would be your proposal? Not to have the date as mandatory field or... Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, it should not be a mandatory field because if you put anything there, they will require something at the end of it. And yet, if you run RDQ, you will get missing dates, missing result for the partner. Okay. So maybe and we can pick that up and uh, share out and discuss with the testing team to see how well to handle that issue. Because if the, I know the date is a mandatory field, if a, if a result is given, then we want to see how it can be addressed. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay. Any other question? I think we, you may proceed. Okay, thank you. So I had left the, my patient hanging. So I will just check out for the visit that we just entered. And now next will be to next week yeah, because yeah, your network is breaking delivery a bit slow excuse me because yeah for that i hope it will stabilize and uh, now we are on delivery am i clear now I don't know if uh, everyone followed when you started. 
your network was breaking. I, I haven't started. I was, uh, I just, uh, I just uh, checked out the visit. I checked out the visit and uh, now it's the time I want us to proceed to delivery. Okay. Yeah. So uh, to access the delivery form, again, you need to check in the client for visit. We are assuming our client um, uh, is delivering in April. So I will just check in with 15th April and submit. Once the client is checked in on the left, you will need to go back home, then select clinician. And then on the left now, we under mother services, we have a form called delivery. Click on the form delivery. And then you will have this form, which is used at the maternity when the mother delivers. You are required to give you uh, the maternity number. I believe this is uh, obtained from the maternity register. And then under delivery and baby observation, we will capture the delivery history, uh, gestation at birth in weeks, record the week, duration of labor, maybe let's say eight hours, delivered for eight hours. The mode of delivery, is it SVD, CS, bridge, uh, assisted vaginal delivery. Select the one that applies. And then on date of delivery, which is a mandatory fit, uh, select that. Assuming it was done 15th, uh, it, it was on 15th April. Uh, was the placenta complete? It's either yes or no, select from the drop down. Uh, blood loss, is it mild, moderate, none or so severe? Record that. Condition of mother after delivery, uh, is it alive or dead? Uh, select. Uh, resuscitation, was it done or not? Record accordingly. Then delivery complications. We have a drop down. Again, record yes or no. On place of delivery, select either home facility. We are expecting that this is happening at the maternity in the facility. So select that one. And if it is a uh, born before our, our arrival, then we have that option. Uh, select uh, either or any complication. If we had not, then we wouldn't be required to fill in any complication history. But if you selected, you said that the client had any complication, then you are required to select the type of uh, complication, either eclampsia, there is ruptured uterus, obstructed rib by APH, PPH, piperosepsis, or any other. Uh, so suppose that it was eclampsia, then you can also give any other delivery complications that were there in a, this test field. Uh, provided uh, indicate who conducted that test. Suppose our midwife is called an and the CADA. Select the one that applies. Uh, you will note that in the MCH most of the things are have been simplified and you are only supposed to select from a drop down and therefore it makes very fast for the nurse to fill in. Uh, from the delivery section, we move to the baby section. Uh, the delivery outcome, you need to record, was it a single twin triplet? Uh, unfortunately, we go up to triplet. I believe this covers uh, over 85% of the deliveries in the country, but in, uh, we might need to add other quadrillets and the like. Uh, assuming our delivery outcome was baby only one, a single, uh, indicate the baby's name. Uh, maybe just to show you, if you if you had a, a triplet, then you will have baby one, a section for baby two, and a section for baby three. So you will be able to call all the three babies. Uh, so for our case, let's just choose a single. And assuming our baby is called, uh, let's call our baby, baby training. And sex of the baby, let's say it's a male. And uh, condition of the baby, a live birth. You, you have the option either SB or MSB. 
select the one that applies because you are breaking excuse me not bad select uh if not uh uh the birth Kizia? rate of the baby yes no is not excuse applicable me? uh initiated hi 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 yeah i think your network again is uh, breaking uh the participant lost you at some point sorry at what point uh, just from baby's uh, name and sex i think that's where it started Meanwhile, I think as we wait for Kezia to reconnect, I think she has an issue with the network. For the new, for the guys who have just logged in, kindly, um, there are two tasks. One is to introduce yourself at the section, at the text section. And two, there is um, a post test that you need to kind of fill and submit. Uh, the URL is within the chat area. I think I'll paste it so that I can plot it up for everyone else. Kindly fill it as we as we move along with the with the training. Uh, Otieno, Otieno, I was trying to switch to switch the network, and I think I uh, dropped completely. Sorry about that. Uh, do we have any questions up to that point as I share my screen again? Any question? Bernard, I have a question. Eh? Hello? Yes. yes, we can hear you. Okay, it's Olivia from CHS Naishi. I wanted to ask or any or clarification on differentiated care a bit. Eh? I, I was uh, trying to enter and see. Um, but what I can be able to see is uh, we, are, we have less uh, forms or types of differentiated care. Are they going to be added at some point? Like our distribution points are missing? Hello? Yes. Um, You've gotten my uh, question. Yes. Uh, are these uh, separate forms from the green card? They are, they, they are filled yeah. separately. No, 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 no. After the green card, in the green card, uh, the differentiated yes. care. Yes. What I can be able to see, I'm saying uh, usually there are more uh -huh. around six or, oh, or seven. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There so, is so a, a differentiated care. Yeah. Yes. We have the and then uh, maybe for the fast track. track. Yes. Then I don't know for the oh, fast maybe. track is this the standard or we have to use stroke express care. Yeah, so if I may re respond on that, remember our client yes. uh, there mm -hmm. is a section we selected not stable. No, so uh, for mine, your I've client, you, you have selected stable? Yes, yes. And then under the differentiated care, what options options can you get? Uh, I can be able to see the standard care fast track, community RT distribution healthcare worker led and uh, peer led, and the facility yes. RT distribution group. Uh, but there are usually there are some which are distribution points uh, okay. that are like two missing or missing. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, then so, maybe you can share with us what is missing, and uh, uh, I, we can look at it on how to it can be incorporated as long as it's uh, part of the, the guidelines. Then yes. we would be happy to have it. Yes. In fact, it is in the NASCOP booklet. I'll I'll share maybe with Mwariri because he's our focal person. Maybe he'll get in touch with me. Sure. Thank okay. you. Welcome.
All right. Uh, if you allow me to proceed with the, from the baby section, uh, I, you lost me at the baby's name point. So uh, we gave our baby the name baby training. Uh, sex male, we picked uh, the condition of baby as live birth. Uh, TEO given at birth, we recorded a yes. Uh, the birth weight of our baby is 3.2, just type in. Uh, if a child was born with deformity, select either yes or no. Uh, if if the, client, uh, the baby was initiated breastfeeding in less than an hour, select either yes or no. Uh, then we have the APGA score, record uh, all, all that apply. Uh, yeah, accordingly, HIV testing, again, this is picked directly from the previous forms. Uh, when the client is positive, then no more tests are required. So it will uh, highlight, it will always auto populate. Only for the negatives, you will see a requirement maybe to return to enter test details if they are done at the consecutive visits. Uh, partner testing, like we saw, uh, here it's uh, we, we said we need to discuss on how to capture if, uh, if the partner is tested, we need to know how to capture the dates. And then uh, if uh, you give here the results, if they are positive, negative, or unknown, if not previously entered, ART and prophylaxis, again, uh, if it is dispensed today, select all that apply. Is it T? Is it dispensed? Is it not? So select, if not given at this visit, select a no. Next appointment. Uh, remember now we will be booking our client for the next visit where they will come in postnatal and not the maternity. So uh, our next visit, this being April, we could uh, use 15th May as their next appointment, but this time they will be coming in MCH for postnatal services. Uh, having completed this, uh, and checked that all the information is okay, enter, enter the form. Uh, sorry, there is something we didn't do. If you confirm here, we are using today's date and we are giving a date uh, which is before the encounter date. That's why I'm getting this error. So the first thing in every form is to ensure that the date is okay. Uh, reflect the actual visit date. So this was supposed to be 15th May, 15th April. So for us to be able to assign 15th May as the TCA. Uh, then enter your form and save it. And uh, the good thing is that you'll be able to confirm that it is well saved when it is under the completed visit forms. So that's it. That's the only form that is required to be filled at maternity. And at that point, you just check out the client awaiting their next visit. So that is it for the mother. At least we have gone from ANC and now they have delivered. And if you note, on this uh, section, relationships, we already have the baby listed. So we have the mother-baby pairing feature, which now if you click on this, it will directly take you to the baby section. And from the baby section, you can also go back to the mother section by just clicking on the mother's name. So that feature is working very well. Uh, and now from that point, I would wish to proceed to the next form and see what we capture during postnatal visit. Uh, we always start from checking in to be able to access the visit forms. So check in the client. Uh, the client was supposed to come on uh, 15th May and submit that again. Uh, we are already under clinician, but if you are not able to access the available visit forms, always go back home and click on the clinician app for you to be able to access all other forms. Uh, now, uh, next will be MCH postnatal visit. This is the form you will use for recording PNC services. 
just click on it to select. Uh, we're starting with the PNC number and we have the format of the number given for us for reference. So 2020, uh, the month is say 05 and maybe this is our client number one, 130. So I will use 0130 to make it for, uh, we have four for the year, two for the month and uh, four for the serial number. And then record the PLC visit number, if it is the first, if it's second or third, record there. On maternity history, you will notice that this has already been pre-populated from the delivery form that you have just filled. So you do not need to change anything from that. Uh, record today's vitals if they were not taken uh, from the trash, but if they were done, then you will have them already pre-populated here. Um, at this point, we are assuming our client has added uh, some weight, uh, 68. Then we proceed to postnatal observations. Uh, general condition of the mother, uh, either good, fair, or poor, select. Uh, then uh, breasts, how are they after examination? Either normal, cracked, engorged, or has mastitis, select the one that applies. You will note that um, since our client delivered normally via SVD, then anything on a CS is inactive and you're not able to enter anything on that. And same case will ha happen for client delivering via CS. If anything on a SVD will be uh, inactive. So involution of uterus, select the one that applies. Condition of episiotomy, it was given. Uh, if it was not given, just select, not applicable. Uh, Cancelled on infant feeding, either yes or no. Uh, parlor, uh, record as of today. Uh, PPH, uh, present or absent, select the one that applies. Uh, HB, uh, record the results. Lock here if it is normal, fault smearing or excessive, uh, select the one that applies. Counseling on family planning, uh, if it has been done, record, yes. If no, just select no. Uh, next section to the baby observations. Uh, delivery outcome was single. Uh, baby's condition, is it good, fair, good, or right? Select the one that applies. Sorry, someone needs to mute, please. Okay. Uh, Billy Cocord. Select the one that is um, that applies. We can select stamp clean. Baby's feeding method, uh, is it exclusive? Is it replacement, mixed, or not at all sure if it is a guardian? So select the one that applies. Baby immunization started. You can indicate either yes or no, depending on the status. HIV status testing, again, it's already pre-recorded from uh, the previous forms field. ART and prophylaxis. Again, fill in whatever is provided on this visit. Uh, provide the details. On client monitoring, uh, has the client undergone postnatal exercises? If yes, record that. If no, record uh, select no. On maternal condition, uh, select the one that applies. Are they alive in good health, maternal death, whichever? Uh, select the one applies for the client. On iron supplementation, uh, select if yes or no, if given. Fistula screening, if it has been done, uh, give the results, or uh, if it is not done, just record none. Uh, CSRVIC screening, if it has been done, if not done, select it was not done. On modern FP method, uh, less than or equal to six weeks, you will select the one that applies. If you say yes, then you have um, the next uh, uh, feature pops up on FP method, and now you're supposed to select the method which they are using. If you select, if you select, say no on FP, FP method, then that whole section is blocked. 
So supposing our client is uh, using injectable, select that. Referrals, again, if there are any, anything to report on referrals, uh, record at age accordingly. If nothing, you can leave it as it is. Next appointment date. Uh, so uh, this client next appointment would be around this time. And so again, sign a next appointment. So this is the PNC form. This is the only form you fill in for the postnatal mother. And uh, that will be it for that visit. Remembering that every other visit, though I didn't fill in the green card, you will be filling the, if it is uh, postnatal, you will fill in the postnatal and the HIV green card. Uh, having completed that, just click on enter form to save it. And uh, that now brings us to the end of the entire workflow for a mother coming in from um, ANC. They test positive, they are enrolled to HIV care. They access both services, ANC and uh, care and treatment. They move on to deliver and then they come back to access the postnatal services. Once they are done,